What's going on everybody? Hope you're all doing well tonight. I know I am. I just got two packages from Mr. Jake Gabriel. A very awesome picker and awesomer, if that's a word. Challenge lock designer. I will leave a link in the show notes for you to go check out some of his awesome pin making skills. Uh, he's got a gift. But anyways, uh, yeah, super excited about these two packages. Uh, the big one, I believe, is the pass around box. Lock Affinity was kind enough to ask him to send it to me, even though Lock Affinity won it because uh, he was just too busy and didn't have time for it. And this one, I will save uh, for after I open the big one. Uh, yeah, that's something I'm really looking forward to. So I'll leave what I think is probably going to be the best for last. And hopefully a uh, blind opening on camera. Let me see here. Sorry. Being a little extra special here. So I am excited. Let's see what kind of goodies we got in the pass around box. Of course. Oh. <laughs> Uh, you went above and beyond with more suckers. So, uh, Jay Gabriel looks like he put in some uh, Tootsie Roll Pops and then the Star Suckers from Evil Arts Conservative and Polar Bear. Oh, shoot. Okay. First one out of the box is Meh by Jay Gabriel. He told me this one is uh, a prototype to some of the other ones that he sent out into the community and that it should be a fun pick, but hopefully uh, not too challenging. So we'll see. I will make a separate video about that one later, but super excited to see what he's got in there because like I said in the beginning, he does awesome work on pants. So let's see. Oh man, huh? Oh, nothing like a giant box of locks to make my day. This is awesome. Let's see here. Got the black spur. Cool, cool. Some of these locks, that's one of the most exciting things about this box is I don't know much about any of these locks, so I'll have fun researching and learning more about them. It's gonna be my first Euro cylinder. Super excited about that, Dom. And I'm gonna to have to do a justice and pick it what I would consider upside down here in America. But yeah, that looks like an awesome keyway. Very, very cool. Let's keep it going here. Hey, nice. Looks like solid brass American Series 40. Very cool. Little Euro Lux, huh? Eh, not too bad looking. That'll be fun. Nymph. Nymph. Anyways, Asa Alboy. Oh, wow. That's got a cool little keyway. That should be a fun pick. I'm not even going to pretend to know how to pronounce that. Uh, another Euro cylinder. Very cool. Oh man, that's a heck of a keyway. Is this a, no, it's not a dimple. It's just a gnarly looking keyway. Very, very cool. Super exciting. Little disc padlock. Haven't picked one of these. That'll uh, be fun also. These are all gonna be fun, what am I saying? Let's see what else we got in here. Avis, haven't picked Avis yet, so dude, this is, I don't think, except for the American, uh, I don't think there's too many in here that I have picked. Oh, here's another American. I do love my American, so everybody knows the 1100 series. Oldie but goodie. Man, it's a little dark. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Maybe if I move this box out of the way, yeah, it'll lighten up a little bit. And then I'll just take more camera. Okay, let's see. Got a Brady Lotto Lock, very cool. You know what, can I brighten this up a little bit? Sorry about that, guys. I need to just put it on auto mode instead of trying to play around these settings like I know what I'm doing. Okay, that'll work. 
Oh, this little guy, that, what is this? Rock Fort. That is gonna be challenging. Just how little that keyway is. Sweet. Another Euro cylinder. Very fun, very fun. Oh, an American, or not American, what am I saying? Sorry, American, for insulting you like that. <laughs> a master, uh, 100, anniversary, 100 year anniversary padlock. What do you got on there? All right, cool, cool, that'll be fun still. I don't know anything about that other than it being the anniversary model. I don't know if they could put anything in it special. Another little mini padlock, very cool. We got a few mini padlocks. This looks like a warded padlock. We'll have some fun with that. Another little mini. Little combo. And then, oh cool. A little disc detainer uh, parkside. I do not have just tanner picks, but uh, hopefully Sparrows gets a shipment in soon and I can finally get one ordered because I would love to start picking disc container. Disc retainers. Disc container? Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just fumbling. I'm too excited. Uh, another Euro Luck. Very cool. And that looks like it for the Lux. Got a bag of keys to go with it. Don't need no stinking keys. And then, oh, cool. Looks like we got a uh, a notebook in here. Let's see where we're at here. Cool, 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 cool. Everybody's got their times and everything in there. I will go over that. And I think this is just packaging. Yep, that is it for the box, which I am not disappointed. I am super stoked about because, man, that is a lot of awesome locks that I have not picked yet. So, yeah, I'm going to be busy for the next few days. I'll try not to uh, take too long, though, because I want to share the love and enjoyment of getting this box and experiencing all these locks. So, have my fun with it and... Hopefully get it off to the, to the next lucky person in not too much time. All right, now let's line all these up in the back here so we can get to the one I'm super excited about. Um, it should be a master number 19. I first saw it on Lock Noob's video, Jay Gabriel had let him loan it and made a comment about how awesome it would be to have a chance at picking that. And that's where I uh, first met Jay Gabriel and uh, he messaged me and we started chatting and offered to send me one. And I am truly blessed to have met him. Uh, super generous, awesome member of the community. Yeah, to just pass around these not cheap, rare padlocks is a, a very awesome of them, and I will do my best to take care of it while it's in my possession and get it back to them in a speedy manner. Now I'm blowing everybody out with these bright colors, so let me turn it back down a little bit. All right, let's see what we got in here. Oh, he did send it. I f yes, 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 yes. He said he was going to let me borrow his uh, disdetainer lock. That's right. For the, uh, what is this thing called? Uh, Parkside? Parkside? Sorry. Oh, it is a, it is a Sparrows. He told me he just had some cheap <laughs> Chinese disdetainer pick. Oh, I didn't even look at the sticker. Oh, that is so cool. I'll get a chance to use that before I uh, hopefully get one of my own here if Sparrows ever gets their act together. That is super, super cool. And then I think he called these injectors. So 
Sorry, I'm still new to the whole disk retainer picks these. I am going to have to hit them up about and figure out what is up with those, how those work. I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. This is, yeah, he said he was going to send me some copper tubes. Oh, yeah, he drilled out some of these copper tubes so I can make my own rattlesnake pens. And I, can I have to ask him what these are for then? I don't know if these are for the disc detainer lock or for helping to make the pens. I will have to get with him on that one. Sorry, guys, don't know much more about that right now. So I put all this stuff back in there. Super cool, man. I wish it wasn't a hundred and plus degrees in my garage right now. So many little cool projects I could be working on out there. But for now, oh, forget what I was saying. I just took, saw that. You see that big behemoth, behemoth back there? Mahemoth, I don't know what a mahemoth is, but yeah, look at the, oh, yes, like some monsters, this is awesome. <laughs> yes, oh, that thing is, that thing is awesome. Oh, Jay Gabriel, thank you so much for letting me borrow this thing. Oh, what the heck, I, I mean, you see it in videos and you see it's a monster, but in person, this thing is just ridiculous. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, super stoked. Oh man, that thing is a beast. Oh, sorry guys. Let me get the rest of that tape off of there. To ask him if those are the original or if he had to have those yeah he probably had to have these keys made i don't know if he impressioned them himself or he had it done for him uh, definitely not the original keys but this thing is awesome let's see how it looks oh yeah <laughs> oh that is awesome 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 and this is what i was waiting for this all this other stuff, all this other stuff is, is super cool, but this thing, this thing is what I was really stoked about. Um, hey guys, I just wanted to jump in here at the end of the video because I didn't have a great way to end it. This thing kicked my butt for about an hour, hour and a half this first night of picking. Uh, it just wasn't having it and I didn't get the open. I did get the open on the third day though three days straight picking on this thing and i finally got it open i was so happy fortunately i didn't get it on camera but i did get a picture i will throw that up now for you to check out um so sorry again that i didn't get on it on camera but this lock doesn't have a reputation for being the biggest baddest master lock there is for nothing so thanks again to Jay Gabriel for sending it out to me. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching. You guys have a blessed night. We'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.